Hi, I'm Kelly, board member for the Partnership for the Arts and Humanities, as well as an artist in Studio 8 of the brand new Village Arts Factory in Canton, Michigan. As our new tenants are moving in, the COVID-19 crisis hit. So right now we're gonna hear testimonies from some of our residents about their art, how it's been affected, but they're excited to open up for the Canton community. Hi everyone, I'm Sharon, and I'm the owner of Science and Lies, a unique do-it-yourself soap and cosmetic making lab opening soon at the Village Arts Factory. Now, you might be thinking that I'm dressed like this due to the current pandemic. However, at Science and Lies, this is how we dress all the time during our soap making classes. And that makes me completely confident that once we're able to open, we can teach our small group classes in a way that keeps all of our students safe and protected. Now we are thrilled to be part of the Arts Factory project. Being among a community of artists and sharing in all that energy and talent and passion is really inspiring. And we just can't wait until we can really get going. I think the Arts Factory is going to quickly become an important community gathering spot and a destination that brings people into Cherry Hill Village. And that's what we wanna share with all of Science and Lies students, that you can make something at home using easily obtained ingredients that you can use every single day. So, hope to see you in class soon. Chad Schwartzenberger here with Schwartzy Photos, located in Suite 3B of the Village Arts Factory. Schwartzy Photos is a studio slash gallery where people can come in and they can enjoy my photography work, purchase my photography work, or they can sit down and have a nice uh, studio portrait session. What I love about photography, and it's just like any piece of artwork hanging on a wall, is every person that looks at that photograph can have a different feeling about what they're seeing, a different interpretation. And that photo could inspire you, that photo could make you think a little bit, that photo could bring back memories, or that photo could just make you feel good and make you feel like you've seen something beautiful or awe-inspiring. The COVID crisis has really put a damper on what I've been able to do. I haven't been able to bring anybody inside the studio for portrait work or to show them around the gallery. Outside of that, I haven't been able to print much at all. Um, all my printers that I use have been shut down or really restricted on what they can do. But with that said, like everybody else, I'm hopeful, I'm working through it, and I'm really looking forward to the Village Arts Factory opening up. It's like no other place in this region that I've seen. A place where this community and this region can come together to celebrate arts, culture, and support our veterans that have given so much. Hi everybody, I'm Liz, owner of Personal Pilates and Fitness. We can't wait to start our Pilates and fitness classes here at the Village Arts Factory. Our classes will be limited to six students in order to adhere to the latest CDC guidelines to keep you safe and healthy as you work to create a stronger and more functional body. Call to learn more and get on the schedule for a private one-on-one. -on -one. Call 248-600-1200. We'll see you soon. The nonprofit Cherry Hill Potters Guild has been working for two years with the Partnership for the Arts and Humanities in Canton to create a new community arts center. We worked with our partners to create a vision to construct a new, large, safe, efficient studio space for projects involving the community. To serve the Tri-County area with our evening workshops, classes, shows, drop-in demos, civic center events, and farmers market participation. We are excited and encouraged to have completed our construction phase and starting our first set of classes. We look forward to 2020 art shows in the Arts Warehouse event space and at outdoor festivals in collaboration with the community. Our guild members are committed to promoting art for health, empowerment, and inspiration in community life. We hope to see you soon in our studio in the Arts Warehouse. Please follow us on Facebook or view photos and further information on our website at cherryhillpottersguild.org. Hello, welcome to DNM Art Studios and I'm Mrs. D. We are in our brand new space and we're ex so excited about this fresh new space that'll put us around other art themed businesses. Now DNM Art Studios is 33 years strong 
We are the home of Fine Art Camps. This year's theme is Kaleidoscope, and that is many different cultures wrapped around traditional themes. I'm gonna give you a view of some of the background. And here we go. There's paintings here. If you look at the front of the teaching room, there's a big chalkboard. Paintings up on the top. Paintings here. And our supplies right here. Now, I hope you come see us. I am missing you. Remember, art is fun here at the studio. Please join us. Hello, my name is Dr. Lynn Phillips. I'm executive director of the Fallen and Wounded Soldiers Fund. Unfortunately, COVID has slowed down our ability to open our transitional housing facility for homeless vets in what was once a dormitory for veterans after World War II. We are anxious to get started. We are still in need of a few things. If you would care to donate furniture, a computer, some kitchen items, please contact me at lynnphillips at fwsf.org. Thank you. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Stefan Duell and I'm standing outside of uh, Studio 12 here at the Village Arts Factory. Um, this is my studio, um, Art by Stefan Duell. So just wanted you to uh, come in and take a quick peek to uh, see what my studio looks like. Um, I have been doing art pretty much my whole life. Um, currently, I am uh, enjoying making uh, hand-hooked rugs using recycled wool clothing. That's what you see on the wall there behind me. Um, I'm also doing uh, acrylic pour painting, which is really popular right now, and uh, also dot mandala paintings. Um, I was so excited when the Village Arts uh, Factory accepted me as a tenant because I wanted to uh, be here to be surrounded by uh, a lot of uh, positive uh, people and artists and see how that would influence my work. Um, so we're looking forward to having the public come in and uh, take a look at our spaces and hopefully take some classes here. Uh, once this COVID situation is over, um, we hope to have the public come in and check us out. So thank you so much for watching and take care everyone. Hi, I'm, I'm Bill Keith, station manager of 881 The Park. The Village Arts Factory is nearing completion, but they need our help as a community to come together and help them raise the last $300,000 they're trying to raise to get the Arts Factory opened and making a difference in the community. Please join me in giving to support the Village Arts Factory during their Giving Tuesday Now fundraising campaign, which kicks off on May 5th. You won't regret supporting this great organization, and thanks. I'm excited to support the Partnership for the Arts and the Village Arts Factory right here in Cherry Hill Village. As a resident of Canton, I'm excited to raise my sons in this vibrant community, and I think it's absolutely vital that we invest in the arts whenever given the opportunity, and I would like for my boys to grow up with access to a robust arts culture to enrich not only their childhood, but their experiences growing up in Canton. Canton is such a special place, and the addition of the Village Arts Factory will only make it better. And I'm Kelly Caroline, owner of Kelly Caroline Henna Art and Studio 8 at the Village Arts Factory. After studying art at Eastern Michigan, I started work as a henna artist in Universal Studios Orlando. I've now had my studio for 10 years in Ypsilanti, and I manage a team of artists that serve events, library classes, and summer festivals all throughout Michigan. When we open again, we will be offering private henna appointments, parties, personal photo sessions, and henna classes right here in the Village Arts Factory. I hope you've been inspired by these testimonies and getting to know our residents. Please consider supporting the project at partnershipforarts.org forward slash give today.